Hi, Brianne Showman here with Get Your Fixed Physical Therapy and Performance. What I'm going to talk about today is why all those things you're doing for your hamstring aren't working. Now, I totally get it. I've been there before. I've talked to a ton of people like you that say you're doing all the things that people told you to do, but your injury is still sticking around no matter what you do. So you're kind of deciding you're just going to run through it because it's going to hurt anyway, right? Not the greatest plan, but that's why I'm here. So we have a couple things going on with why the things you're doing aren't working. One is you're essentially just putting a Band-Aid on it. Now, what that means is you're doing all the things to make it feel good, to get rid of the symptoms, to do all that sort of thing, all those sorts of things. But ultimately, you're not getting to that root cause. And until you get to that root cause, it's going to stick around. So you can do all the massaging and stretching and rolling and icing and you name it that you've done before. Um, or maybe you've gone to therapy already and you've done like all of those things and nothing's worked. Um, you can continue doing all that stuff because it feels good, but it's not solving your problem because you're not getting to that root cause. Now, the other thing we need to think about too is what things are doing mechanically with your body, meaning you can do all the right exercises, but your body might be stuck in it some compensated pattern that it's just known for years. And so those exercises aren't being as beneficial as what they could be. So um, like for instance, a lot of times when I see someone doing a single leg RDL, I see a lot of rotation going on through the hips. And when we're doing that, we're basically compensating for our weaknesses and tightnesses in that leg that's on the ground. Until we take time to actually keep our hips level as we're going down, keeping that movement nice and smooth, we're not actually going to get the benefit of that exercise that we're intending to get. So um, those compensations that are happening could be another reason that your injury is sticking around. And it doesn't mean that this can't be fixed. It just simply means that someone needs that you need to work with someone who is going to correct you on how to do things properly so you aren't compensating all the time. And then diving into the root cause a little bit further. I know I'm all over the place right now. Diving into the root cause a little bit further though. At the end of the day, if we don't get to that root cause, we're not going to clear up the situation. So um, when we're dealing with hamstrings, um, yes, it can be in the hamstring itself um, because we simply could have done, like, maybe you went for a sprint and you've never sprinted before. Like, okay, probably good, probably a good reason for that to happen. Um, but sometimes it's things like your running technique and if you o tend to overstride um, and so we're putting more strain on that hamstring every single time you step. Um, things with our posture, things with our spine can also impact our hamstring. So there's a lot of factors at play with when it comes to hamstring injuries. And until you really start diving in and figuring out what's going on with that, um, it can be hard to um, truly clear up the situation. So that's what I got for you today. For Feel free to check out more information on my channel. Otherwise, check me out at getyourfixpt.com for more great information or to reach out to me if you have any specific questions about your injuries. So.